All right, well, 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 what is up, beautiful people? YouTube, my name is Jurtastic, and welcome to another episode of Tropical Six Sandbox Game Ballet. So we've been giving you tips as we go along, and we're giving you tips and giving you tips, and everything has been going peachy and beautiful, and smooth. But at the same time, you gotta remember we're not here to just stick in the World War era. We're trying to go to the Cold War era. One of the things for the Cold War era is to be allies with either the allies. Or the access to be friends with them. Um, I think we chose the access. It's been a while since we've done that, but I think we chose the access. Economy wise, it's a little s stabilizing a little bit. We're actually gonna start raising a budget a little bit here to make things kind of go a little smoother. So economy wise, it's stabilizing. Everything is beautiful. Everything is nice. We got toys, coconut, wool, meat, you name it. We got it. Now, what we're gonna do right now is start building that embassy. We're gonna invite them. Let's see what happens. Of course, somebody's going to be a little ticked off. That's the allies. But hey, sometimes you got to make some enemies in order to make some friends. That's just how it is. That's just how it is. It's no different here for El Presidente. Obviously, generally, I like to put things near each other. But as I always say, when we start off an island, especially in the Cold War era, where I, I still consider this the quote unquote starting off an island part. Um... Things are not going to be like, you know, in the same place. Sometimes you're going to be rearranging them as you go along. But right now, we're actually going to put this right here, not over there. I know it's 5,000, but how much is a blueprint? 2,500. Okay, we're going to have to do it. We're going to do it. I'm going to put it right here. Oh, it's going to be like in a really awkward spot, but you know what? It's kind of nice. You know, you got the, got the ocean right in front of you, man. What? That's nice. Anyways, gonna I'll go ahead and um, make this a high priority. Not not that anything else is being built right now, but just let them know. Hey, we need that over there. We're gonna raise the budget on the guards for the palace. This is where we're gonna start raising the budgets as we go along. So, a tip I give you is raise the budgets as you go along. Now, this episode in particular, we're gonna be talking about politics and not factions. We're gonna be talking about foreign relations. Now, first and foremost, obviously, it's not a secret. We're gonna invite. The access, because that's one of our relationship. They like us already as it is, and uh, that's what it is. So there you go, access, and we can request an alliance. Okay, we're gonna wait a little bit to see for that, to see what they want from us, or what uh, penultimate wants. So you here you go, everything is good. We're gonna actually take. A questioning intellect is to uh, be at this point, we're gonna take the five thousand. Usually, I'm not really the biggest fan of the five thousand, but. Um, or the money, but we can use it right now. So as you can see, our objective to reach the next uh, uh, era is to have reach a state of alliance, form an alliance with either the allies or access by having a president, the embassy, having a cordial relationship, and asking them for the alliance demand. Now, at this season of Tropical, we've been giving you tips as we go along on what you need to do. So what do you do in Tropical 6? as far as foreign relationships to start off with well it's gonna start with trade as always trade is very crucial trade at first is not gonna be the best for you for example let's say we had all five of them open which down the road will have european union russia united states the middle east and china right now we only have the access and the allies but in a little bit we'll have all of that for example your relationship with them when you start off is not gonna be the highest it's not gonna be the best but if you create, uh, you know, deals that are not, like for example, cacao here is 9%. If I take it, sometimes you're not taking the deal for the money. Sometimes you're taking a deal for the relationship. So this is how you create a simple relationship. And obviously you can go to the embassy and praise them, um, blah, blah, blah. As for financial aid, which decreases your relationship by 20. So we don't want to do that right now. We're going to request alliance. Let's see what they want. Now, see, what they want is a commander garrison. So, so that, so that doesn't make it the most um, simple or the least um, challenging thing for us because commander garrison takes money, blah, 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 and then you got to finish for sabotage and then all this stuff. So we're going to go ahead commander garrison. Obviously, if we get caught by... The allies, which we probably will, they're not, they're not gonna be too happy. The commander garrison is about twelve thousand, so I'm gonna wait a little bit since we gotta wait anyways. 
I'm gonna wait till we get another shipment or so, or things move on a little bit more. While we do that, as always, what do we? What do you think we're gonna do right now? Well, if you've been watching me for a while, you know what we're we doing right now. Um, build a theater. I can actually do that for you. Sure, why not? Uh, we're gonna look at the almanac and see that we got homeless citizen is good. You guys, remember towards the end of the last episode, things went up because we're recruiting many. So you got the homeless citizen is good. Oh, excuse me. Didn't mean to go here. There we go. Unemployed citizens is good. Um, you got unemployed seven, but no vacant jobs. Well, we're about to build the commando garrison that's going to take um, some high schoolers anyways. So there comes the pirates coming back. We're going to wait for this. Hopefully this gives us a good enough one. And then we're going to build the commando garrison. There's some more stuff coming in. Some more toys. Some more meat. Beautiful. What else is coming in? I see this. I see them coming. More toys. Now we got some corn. Of course, corn is not really a, a high commodity. And bam. Got this. Um, things went down. Things went up. We got to wait a little bit before we went to Commander Garrison to have a little bit of money, a little bit more money extra in the bank. All right, we got another deal. I finished, which was the fish one. The fish one, like I said, we took mainly just to for the relationship with them. Um, nobody's really offering rum, even though rum right now not really best. Uh, shellfish. Look at that. Shellfish is being sold for sixty-one percent right now. We're not really producing shellfish, anyways. Uh, la, 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 la. Sometimes it's okay to wait and not take any deal if you don't see any deal that you like. And personally, that is the case for me. I'll take 2,800 units of meat to the U.S. because, well, we could use some, some, um, I guess some good face with the U.S. right now. Or the allies, I should say, that's not the U.S. yet. Okay, let's go ahead and build a commando garrison. Oh, I'm definitely going to move this down the road, but anyways, that's being built right now. And one more thing I do want to do, like I said, this is a part of, we're talking mostly in the political aspect of it, but this is a part of the island where we start raising budgets a little bit, at least on things that really matter. And a rum distillery is one of those things that really matter. One of those things that we're really better off raising the budget on. Uh, because rum is a, is a good amount of money, but again, it's not really producing as much as I would like to see it produce. So Commander Garrison's coming up. we got four... Missions that we need to do, that's gonna that's gonna be a little bit. That's gonna be a while, but it's okay. Uh, we have state loans just research. We're gonna go and build a permit, literacy program, wealth tax in case we need it. Um, so we got state loan uh, state loans. We can rely on that if things really, really get bad. And then we're gonna do the wealth tax just in case we need to tax some people for money. Uh, build the army base, you got it. I'm always down with that, but right now, again, we gotta kinda play it. Get money, build something, get money, build something. It's a very careful process, but you're going to have a good island when it's all said and done. And of course, another tip I gave last episode was when you're, um, you get people here and, um, you know, you have enough employment and not a, not a lot of vacant jobs and you start using the pirate code for um, resources to just start raiding resources. But right now... I think, if I'm not mistaken, we got unemployed citizens, 10 vacant jobs. So we do got some fa vacant jobs, but they're mostly high schoolers. So we're still going to go with the resources and raid the resources. Let's go just one of each. There we go. All right. Man, I'll do like this game a lot, man. I know you guys enjoy watching me play it. Appreciate that. Um, but I do enjoy Tropico a lot. So I'm very happy to be doing that. And I forgot about this, which never really made sense to me. Uh, let's go here. We're going to do sabotage the allies. Obviously, that's what they want. It never really made sense to me of why this is... N I can do, like, commando and pirates at the same time. Doesn't make sense to me, but it is what it is. So each raid is going to take 12 months. So in about four years or so, if things go well... Um, this is when we'll reach the next level of this. Produce fish. I'm already producing it, so that's an easy one. I'll take that. And there you go. In this case, we're, we already got the deal where the allies, or we already have the access and they already gave us the alliance command. At this case, we're 99%. I'm willing to gamble asking for financial aid. It's got to drop, I understand, but we just got $20,000, which is very, very nice. So sometimes, you know, you got to... You gotta play it like that. This is empty in stock. Why is it empty in stock? Are you guys really not producing anything? I'm gonna raise the budget on this. The efficiency, 20% on this. And this one is 11%. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Let me see what the heck is going on with this, man. 
we're gonna need to build tobacco somewhere else then for sure because I can't have tobacco industry just like that uh, tobacco bam uh, yeah, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to go somewhere here. It's gonna be a little bit far away, but it is what it is. Gotta go shift. One of my subscribers told me about that, and I'm so grateful. As, as long as I played this game, I never really understood that holding shift while placing um, a building, you can just like hold the same building basically. So you, instead of just going build plantation, build plantation, you can just hold shift and go, 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 go. That'd be good. Anyway, so there we go. Built three more tobacco ones, kind of to upgrade it. If that stays the same over there, we're going to completely take it out. Efficiency here is 0%. I don't think this is efficiency as far as uh, uh, is the land fertile or not. I think something else is just uh, either a drought or something else is killing it. Um, let's take a look at the edicts uh, and see if we can have... Right, there it is. Agriculture subsidies. Um, increases the upkeep of them, but increases the... Uh, Increase capital is standing. Um, nah, we got, yeah, we're gonna need to take it because right now we're in a Cold War era where we depend on agriculture and we depend on the plantations a lot. Um, so cigar is done with them. Cool. Let's see what else we got. Nobody still wants rum. I can only import rum. Nobody wants rum exported. That's very strange and interesting. They must have nerfed that or something. I don't know because rum was just always there. Always there. Um, let's see what, what can we get. We'll give them corn. Again, I'm just signing BS deals right now. Deals are not going to really make a switch, but they're not going to break us at the same time. So it is what it is. But here comes this. There's probably going to be some unemployed people to it. That's completely fine. That's because we don't... The pirate rate right now, we kind of have to... We kind of have to wait a little bit. We have to wait because we can't do two raids at once for whatever reason. I don't know why Tropic always did that. So um, we're going to have to wait for that. Okay, guys, three long raids later. We got one more to go. It's about to finish up. We might get attacked. So what I'm going to do, because we might have the allies come attack us, we basically have two mili three military forts, and that's really about it, and the, and the palace guards. But um, one of the tasks we have here is to build a base. So unfortunately, uh, we'll have to... I will have to come and get a state loan out. Okay. Fortunate that we Bam. Because one base is about 20, 21, I believe. So, actually, more than that. Wow. Um, 2350. Okay. 23, uh, 235, I should say. 23,500. Dang, that's a lot of money. Okay. But hey, we're going to need it. And we're about to get, I believe, we're about to get $5,000 back from building it, anyways, because we're going to finish the task. So, it's kind of needed. Honestly, it is needed. But hey, we got this. We're ready for it. Or the last mission to be done. We might build some barracks, some type of barracks. Uh, we definitely do need to rescue many as fast as or as soon as this is done. Sometimes I'll ask you for like one more mission, but sometimes they don't. But um, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what they what they want here. I understand. Here they go. It's a diplomatic uh, state alliance. So we have, and uh, there it is. It says you may uh, you make the only choices available, Presidente, to support the global access. Do not change your mind. We hate mind changers. On our list of war priorities, you are very low. You may, however, find yourself somewhat higher in the list of allied priorities. We require only that you survive the war and do not make a fuss. We hate fuss, too. Wait 3,600 days or survive basically six Ally invasions. If the allies is broken, you will instantly be invaded by uh, opposing powers and lose the game. Wow. Um, that's what, I'll, by the way, the fine print of this why Tropical 6 pisses me off. This is a sandbox gameplay. You should not, by any means, uh, force me to lose a game if I take another decision. They do that, and I don't like that. But anyways, right now, let's focus on this. Um, I, I don't know. Survive the war, I guess it is. Uh, or wait 365 days. So I, I don't know which one it is. I, I didn't really get to choose. Uh, like that's a little different. But so let's do the math here. So 3,600 days divided by 365 days. According to my calculator, it's about 9.86 years. So let's just say 10 years in general. That's a long time. That's a long time. I, I uh, hope we could just... I don't know if we'll even survive a war against the allies. I mean... Realistically, you wouldn't be able to the allies, but I don't know. I wish, I wish, I wish I could, I wish I could tell you. 
Wish I could tell you, but right now, as you can see, we have a lot of vacant jobs. Um, so we're trying to rescue many or 12 vacant jobs. Well, 12 for, uh, you know, population 410. That's that's plenty. All right, I did notice that we are, our, our, our homelessness, I guess I should say, is becoming a little bit higher. So let's go ahead and start building that up. We go bam. And bam. Just a couple houses here. Or bunk houses, I should say. We gotta just, I'm not gonna do too many country houses. Country, country houses in Tropical 6, I keep saying that, but in case you're not watching every episode, country houses in Tropical 6 are for well off, not for broke or poor people. I, uh, I know. I know it's a little weird, but I ain't know how to make the game, man. I just play it. So there you go. How is the grocery store doing? The grocery store is doing okay. We'll go ahead and raise the budget. Nobody's hungry, really. Um, one thing I wanna kinda do, because. There are stages to it, and like I said, this this season is really about me having fun and not really having a specific goal. We just want to have a good, successful, nice island all, all around. But also, in the process, I'm giving you kind of tip, like kind of a quote-unquote tutorial season. Um, so another tip I'm gonna give you is, once you start approaching the the world, the Cold War era, this is where you're gonna maybe possibly start be like, okay, man, I can't really piss the citizens off too much. This is where you're gonna want to like, you know, be under good graces as well because you don't want it. To be like every eight percent is not acceptable once you get to the cold war and definitely modern times oh boy yes yeah, you're gonna be in big 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 problem if that's what you do um so start you know building giving them their basic needs religious rights entertainment um health all of this stuff i'm gonna actually go ahead and demolish this dungeon i don't need it this was a task that was that we were asked to do back in the day so therefore um, I don't really need it right now. Okay, so rubber. We don't really have rubber, so I'm going to cancel this trade anyways. I don't think the allies like me too much as it is because um, I am allies with the Axis now. So let's see what we got here. What do we have here? I need to import or, sorry, export. Again, nothing really worthwhile, to be honest with you. Um, Nothing. Well, we got. We have some corn. I'll, I'll take a small deal of corn just because we have it. Whatever. Uh, look at that. The U.S. is down. Obviously, trade like we talked about. Trade really could make a difference. We we'll take some uh, shellfish, even though we don't really have a whole lot of shellfish that we're producing. We only have this fishing wharf, and it's not even producing shellfish. Um, let's see if we can yeah, possibly add another one somewhere around here. Uh, let's take a look. It's all the way down the side. Well, it is what it is. I'm just taking this basically right now. I'm not even not even stressing it. So next episode, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to reach the Cold War. But this episode, I just want to kind of let you know the final steps of how to reach the, um, the Cold War era. One of them is obviously pick an access or pick an ally. Be an ally with the allies. Be allies with the access. Fulfill export uh, trader with the access. We already have a few going, so I'm not really worried about that. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you next episode. If you enjoyed this episode, please make sure you hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, join the Jarmy by hitting that subscribe button. With that being said, my name is Jurtasic, and I am out. See you guys.